Hey, BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has begun rolling out the optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which they rolled out late yesterday once again in my part of the world on the 29th of August. And this is exactly the same update I posted on a couple of days ago when it was still in preview, been finalized, and has now made its way to the stable version. Now the update is optional. Unless you have this toggle turned on, then it will become a compulsory mandatory update. And if we head over to our update history, if you do decide to install the update, uh, the update is KB5041582. Now at its heart and core, this is really just a bug fix update. There are no front facing features with this update and it addresses non-security issues for Windows 10. Now just to go through the bug fixes, there are just five bug fixes that are taking place under the hood, so to speak, but I'm just going to mention all of them for the purpose of this video because they are, they are um, few enough just to go through quickly. Now first of all, we get two memory leak fixes, which is a good thing because a memory leak means that excess memory is being used by different components, so uh, this could uh, bring a bit of a performance and stability boost to the OS. So the input method editor IME, apparently when a combo box had input focus, a memory leak was occurring when you close that window. And for Bluetooth, an app was stopping to respond because of a memory leak um, in a device. So those are the two memory leak fixes, which is always a good thing. Now focusing on the, the next three, um, the update brings country and operator settings, asset profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. So that's a more or less an improvement. And then there's a bind filter driver fix. So your system might stop responding when it accesses symbolic links. And apparently the unified write filter and Microsoft, Microsoft System Center configuration manager, um, there was a deadlock issue with that where it was the... Um, it was stopping the device from restarting when you um, didn't expect it. So as mentioned, only five bug fixes, two of those are memory leaks, and then they've also made updates to the servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. So that's more or less what's new for KB5041582. As mentioned, um, quite a minor release. And if you don't decide to install the update, if you didn't have get the latest updates as soon as they are available, toggle turned on, then um, these fixes will be rolled out with our Patch Tuesday September mandatory update, which is rolling out on the second Tuesday of September the 10th. So just take note of that. And um, once the update has been installed, just to have a quick look at the build for Windows 10 version 22H2. So if we just enter WinVer about Windows into our search, for Windows 10 version 22H2, after the update has been applied, the OS build is now sitting on 19045.4842. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.